Okay, in the last step, you learn how to edit your raw footage to minimize dead spaces and make it more punchy and essentially keep the best parts of your footage. Now in this step, you'll learn how to add B-roll and overlays to your project. What is B-roll? B-roll is supplemental footage that is inserted into a video to provide additional visual context and enhance the storytelling. Remember, you're telling a story here, a visual story. So it's your job to paint the picture as best as you can for your audience. Okay, so let's add in the overlay videos. But before doing so, drag the vertical white line here on the timeline to the section where you want the B-roll to begin. Once this is done, select the overlay option from the tools on the bottom menu, then select add overlay. Then what it does is take you back to your files folders again. Now bear in mind, CapCut does have some stock videos available, but you know, this first video that you're gonna make is a video that represents you and your brand. So what I'd recommend is using a website like Envato, where you can download different types of stock video relevant to your project. And each file that you download comes with a license, so you don't have to worry about things like copyright strikes. You have total peace of mind. Okay, so now you've downloaded your B-roll from Envato, or maybe you've recorded your own B-roll. Either way, simply select it and add it into the project. So I'll add mine right here. So now you can see that it has been added to the timeline and although it appears below your main footage, it is still recognized as an overlay. And what you can do here is, you know, you can just use your finger and your thumb like you would if you're on your phone and you're trying to zoom into a picture and you can scale it, move it about where you see fit. But typically B-roll videos take up the whole screen. So let's just ensure that it does that. And just like we did with the main footage, you can trim and cut parts, move those about. And you know, if later down the line, you decided you wanted to move your B-roll into another section or another part of the project, you can just long press your overlay until it turns dark and then move it to your desired location. And you can also add more B-roll and have it appear on top of another B-roll clip to mix things up. All right, so that's B-roll guys. So have a go, add more B-roll, experiment, see what works for you. So that was B-roll. And now that you've learned how to add that into your project, the next step is for you to learn how to add transitions to your B-roll and your main footage.